Hello and welcome back to the channel. So today we have a new video. Uh, so again, a little bit different for the channel, but we have done this in the past. We have done some Lego videos. So this Christmas, I managed to get my hands on some more Lego. So let's check this out. We managed to get some Lego for Christmas. So this was a Christmas gift from Santa Claus, shall we say. Um, now it's Porsche 911 RSR. Um, so uh, GT3 based. We're going to build this on the channel and we're actually going to have a few mods for this as well. So we might do it as a separate video or just add on to this video. Previous to this, we have done a Ferrari F40, um, which is, if you want to see it, I'll, I'll put a little link to this in the description down below. And we also done the Mini, which I've got a couple of mods coming for as well. So I've got, gone down the wormhole of Lego mods. We'll have a quick closer look at this. This is um, quite a special car for me because um, if you guys have been subscribed for a while you know last year we did the Le Mans 24 hours in iRacing and we used exactly this car so uh, set that up I really like uh, flat six rear mid kind of mounted engine so uh, we'll take you along to the right some of it will be time lapses uh, and that's just to keep the video concise and I'm probably going to do this over the next few days so it's not all going to be in one hit so let's get to it Inside the box, we've got an instruction manual, got a few smaller bags, four tyres, bigger bags up here, lots, lots of blue pins in there, and the wheels, and it looks like fenders, some more Technic Lego parts, so some quite big bags. Um, the manual is what, 10 millimetres thick, maybe a few more, so it's got a bit of chunk to it, so let's get to it. So just a quick update on the first section and it's basically rear differential, you can see there, and the rear suspension, 
able to articulate up and down. And looks like next up, as you see there, I think it's the chassis. Let's get to it. So just an update up to uh, instruction number 35 just completed it so you can see got some more of the chassis and looks like some of the chassis holding which will hold the rest of the body. Um, the rear is still the same, the shocks here, nothing to mount them to but differential works. Okay, so I think we're gonna be working on round here next. Right, this is step 62, which we're gonna put it together. It looks like we've got the front suspension. Let's see, like there. And you can also see, I'll turn this, steering. So that's going on the front. Okay, so we're up to instruction number 110. We've just fitted the engine. You can see here the six cylinder. So a quick update, so steering is in, all working. When you are building it, I was starting to worry that my steering wasn't working because these cogs didn't actually interface with the uh, steering rack underneath, but this cog goes on last, so don't worry about that if uh, you are building this and going, uh, have I done something wrong here? Because that's what I was thinking for a while. But yeah, it's coming together, I think next up is the seats. Oh, suspension, it's also working. So we have got up to instruction number 235, so just under halfway. Uh, ooh, the next two look like we're starting to put on bodywork panels. So I'm gonna hold it here for tonight. Here we can see the progress. So the front end has basically, I think every, the front end's gonna hang off these parts here. We have front suspension in, and the steering, all working on that side. Seat. Porsche logos, control panel on the other side, flat six in the middle, comes down rear wheels, suspension that works, and of course the engine also works. Pretty much completed all the diffuser, so it gives you an idea how big it is. Size wise, we're already, this is longer than the box, so it gives you a good idea. It's probably 50 centimeters long at this point, maybe 60 centimeters long. Um, got lots of parts left over and um, so I'm going to bag all those up and we'll continue this another day. Okay so it's been a couple of days we're going to go back at it so I've got the car out instructions back at 235 
uh, in the meantime I have um, boxed up some of the parts I've colour ordered them so hopefully this is going to make this build a little bit easier so let's unpack them and let's carry on Okay, so one hour later, build update, construction 337 just complete. So you can see now we have front arches all in, uh, headlight covers, doors all in, working. Nice little detail, as you can see down there, is uh, got a track map. Got rear arches, rear sides down here as well. So yeah, let's carry on with the build. Okay, build update. It's been about 30 minutes, and um, at this point, uh, we've just done um, completed the front bumper. So that looks very posh. I've got the lights in, and we've just put the put the dashboard in, put the air control, and all this uh, switch gear there. So now I think it's time for a tea break. Another build update, drank a cup of tea, and we've done the bonnet. So the bonnet, it doesn't raise up, but it, I suppose you can just pop this out. But yeah, the whole front end is done. I have to say, it does look identically as a Porsche front end. You can definitely tell it is a Porsche straight away. Um, still not keen on these bubble lenses, but so be it. I think that's a compromise that I'm willing to make. Uh, so let's go to the next section. So we're just going to have a break at 472 instructions. Um, so we've just completed the roof. We've done the rear, rear bumper and spoiler. So the roof is uh, quite good. It's always tricky to get these kind of big stickers to line up over multiple pieces, but all worked okay. Um, I'll just grab the model. You would have seen that we've completed the rear bumper, exhaust diffuser, and the rear wing. So uh, home stretch now.
There we go, we managed to complete this Technic Lego Porsche. I'm really happy with it. Um, as you've seen on the channel, we've done Lego created cars before and they are definitely very different to a Technic Lego kit. Uh, something that I didn't know, know or understand beforehand. Things that I didn't like about the set is, I got used to the uh, Lego ones. Everything came in a bag, a numbered bag. So you work on all the bags numbered one first, then number two, and then number three and it meant you didn't have everything open at the same time. Now, technically, I'll take it, it works differently. All the packs were pretty much open within the first few pages, so a lot of Lego to look after and sort through, which made it a little bit more trickier. Oh yeah, um, the doors, so they don't stay closed perfectly. Um, so I know there's a mod that you can do on that. The only other things that I'm not so keen on is the bubble lights. Uh, but I, it, everything's a compromise, um, so you can't do everything. But um, other than that, I'm really impressed with the model. It's massive, which is bigger than the box, so it is a big model. Bigger than I was expecting, a spot that I'd um, hoped to place it in, they not get a fit, so I'm going to have to do plan B. Next LEGO video, we're going to modify this set. So um, I've never done LEGO modification before, other than like complete freedom build so we're gonna try something see how it goes so yeah if you liked it look out for that video and if you did really like this give it a thumbs up and if you didn't like it that's perfectly fine give it a thumbs down uh, just put it in the comments how I can do it better in the future because otherwise I'm never gonna get any better and uh, hopefully we'll see you again soon bye <laughs>